This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the ultimate all-in-one solution for creating an incredible website. In today's video, I'll show you five photo manipulation techniques I'm sure that you don't know. Don't believe me? Let's see. First up, the gradient map magic. We all know the gradient map, but did you know that you can use the gradient map to create special effects like this? And you can use these effects, of course, for some designs like this to create some special effects. All that by painting with the brush so how can we do these effects firstly i want to explain the idea and the concept behind how this works so if we have an image like this and we go to the adjustment and go to the gradient map what gradient map is actually doing is to give specific lightness value a specific color how so let's press into this gradient and let's give the absolute whites a different color let's say some very bright yellow like this and you can notice what's happening now the most bright pixels are now colored with this specific color and the most dark pixels are now colored with this black color what if we want to change this color into somehow dark red color you can see now that the, all the dark pixels are now turned into this dark red and what if we put another point in the middle and we change it its color into maybe some orangey color you can notice now that the mid tones are now colored with this orange color and you can play with the scale playing with this slider so i'm now increasing the intensity or the amount of the yellow color and now i'm increasing the amount of the red color and we can of course make the absolute blacks as complete black like this so by changing the brightness of the layer we are changing its color and that is the main concept we're going to depend on so for example here if i create a new a new layer and let's change the brush to this basic brush and let's try to paint with the white color uh, any stroke something like that. it's now complete yellow because the intensity of the lightness is 100 percent it's complete white but what if we change this color into some gray something like this you will find that the color has changed so we can benefit from this going to color and make the brush uh, complete white and then go to the flow and reduce it to something like 6%. So what I'm going to do now is when I paint with a brush, I'm going to create a gradient depending on the intensity of the, the white color. So if I hide this, you can notice now that there is some color variation or lightness variation into the stroke itself. But when I turn on the gradient map here, the magic happens and you can play around with this and create some very cool special effects, something maybe like this. Oh, let's bring the soft rounded brush, increase the flow of the brush. And with the white color, you can see the magic is happening. Press X to toggle between the white and black, and you can create amazing results with this i have used this technique to create these glow effects coming out of the car but of course you need to turn this layer color into screen blending mode because you we want to get rid of this black into the background so if i turn this into normal you can notice this is the effect but if we want to remove the all the blacks you should go and uh, change the blending mode into screen and now you are keeping only the bright pixels and I've used the same technique here in this lesson you can find the full tutorial for this design in the link in the description as you can see here is the gradient map when I turn it off you can find that this is only white color with different variations in uh, opacity simply create a gradient map create an empty layer and create a complete black layer change the blending mode of the, this complete black layer into screen and draw with white color into the layer between uh, the gradient map and the black layer. And of course, you need to clip the effect to this layer only. That's it. I have done the same technique here in his eye as well. 
The next trick is selecting these clouds and smoke from the black background. So you may tell me that you can simply go to the blending modes and go to screen and that's it. But the main problem with this way is that if I want to put this effect into these bright pixels, I'm now losing all the details into the shadows, these details. Because the screen blending mode is simply keeping only the bright pixels. But if we have already bright pixels in the background, this will be somehow challenging so how can I select it without using screen blending mode I'll tell you a very easy way let's just duplicate this layer press ctrl u desaturate the layer and then press ok then press ctrl m to bring the curves adjustments and then try to manipulate the curves to keep only the data that you want we will make the bright pixel that we want as bright as possible and we will just keep the black pixels as they are so something like this will be okay and then press ok and now let's just hide these two layers and now let's press ctrl a to select all the canvas ctrl c to copy everything in this selected area and now let the magic happens we will just hide this layer create a mask press alt to get into this mask and then press ctrl shift v to paste the pixel that we copied into the same exact position and now let's just go to the layer and let's unhide everything and you can see what's happening right now so basically what we have done is simply using the data here to create a mask with different opacities you can see the shape of the clouds right here and if we want to change this we can easily manipulate the uh, properties of the mask by simply going to the mask and activating it like this and then press ctrl m again to manipulate the amount of data that we want to be into the highlights or the shadows or whatever so this is a very good technique to select clouds smoke or any kind of this things and this is a mask we can simply remove anything that we don't want before we go to the next point let's hear a quick message from today's sponsor Squarespace we all know that having a powerful website is crucial for creative individuals like us now I'm not a professional web designer and honestly I don't want to spend countless hours trying to create my website from scratch with Squarespace all the complex stuff is already taken care of allowing you to focus on what you do best unleashing your creativity one of the things I love about Squarespace is that it's amazing in browser editor it enables me to effortlessly create create a website by just dragging and dropping some elements it's literally easier than any design software but Squarespace offers much more than that it provides a wide range of features including email campaigns powerful blogging tools and my personal favorite website analytics so you can easily track your website's performance plus Squarespace offers loads of modern and solid templates to choose from ensuring your website looks Looks stunning. Make sure to give Squarespace a try with their free trial. And when you are ready to launch your website, head over to squarespace.com slash nurart to save 10% off your first purchase of the website or domain. I will drop the link in the description below. The next trick is how to turn this beautiful car into this amazing visual. Do you know how to create these water reflections? Let me tell you. I will go th with this as fast as as possible let's start with some lightness and color adjustment I will start by bringing some dynamic range into the image so let's create a new curves and let's press into this button and let's click into the highlights making it darker and let's press into the blacks and make it brighter here's before and here's after then let's go to adjustments create a color balance adjustment layer increase the cyans and the greens and the blues let's go to the highlights let's do the same thing and let's go to the shadows and let's do the same thing we're basically trying to give it a color interest so here is before and here is after very nice let's go to adjustment create another curves increase the contrast 
first control I with the soft rounded brush let's make it big and then let's just increase the contrast in this area and boom next we will select everything control J control E to bring it into a new layer so how can we create this water bottles effect let's firstly analyze what are these water reflections it's basically reflecting the top parts of the car, the clouds, the environment. It's a reflection with some distortion as you can see right now. So we can do this by doing the same thing, making a reflection of the main image with some distortions. So I will press Ctrl T, right click, flip vertical, and let's put it somehow here. Maybe we can squeeze it. So press, just press Alt and Shift and squeeze it to make it something like this and then press OK and then let's go to filter blur and motion blur let's just make this angle as uh, 90 something like this and we can increase or decrease the effect for something maybe like this so if we created a mask from this layer press ctrl i to invert the mask and now if we paint with any brush you can now find that this is something like a reflection you can see now the reflection of the wheels of the car the reflection of the clouds into these parts but if we want to make realistic reflections we will not depend on our brush we will bring these uh, clouds or bomb or whatever its name layers <laughs> and then try to give it some distortion to have the same dimensions of the ground so let's put it right here right click press into distort and we can press into shift alt and shift to distort it to our uh, ground the perspective of the ground something like this just press alt and let's make it something like this that's very nice and then press ok and now do you remember the cloud selection technique that we used we will use the same technique here so i will press ctrl a to copy all the pixels here ctrl c and let's go and unhide everything and let's hide this layer and let's go into the mask of this bottom layer press alt and get into the mask and now i will press ctrl shift v to paste it into the mask in the same possession and when we go back to the layer you will find the effect here but of course we need to remove these top parts <laughs> by the brush so th something like this if we don't like it we can simply go to this mask press ctrl m and try to manipulate it to reveal some parts from the other parts that we uh, don't like something like this maybe just try to manipulate the curves until you are satisfied so something like this and if we want to make it more realistic we should remove some parts from the dark areas so let's just press double click into the layer and remove some parts from the absolute dark something like this press alt into the blend if slider to make the effect smoother so something like this and you can manipulate it to get the best results do your best and stay creative and let's go to the next point which is creating this gold oily effect into the hand so how can we turn this image of the hand into this oily goldy effect i will start by desaturating the image so let's go to adjustments hue saturation and desaturate the image and secondly let's go to adjustments and and i will just bring the contrast back to the image so i'm trying to give it more 3d look Some Thing like this and just clip it to the hand and then let's just duplicate all these layers and then press ctrl e to merge them into one layer next let's go to filter and filter gallery and from here let's go to artistic and let's go to plastic work and i'm now trying to give it some highlights into the shape of a plastic or oily watery effect so let's just try to manipulate these properties so i'm just trying to decrease the details maybe increase the softness or something 
and then press OK. So it's now somehow oily. Next, I will duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. And let's go to a filter again, filter gallery. And we will choose from the sketches this chrome effect. It's giving us this texture of the oil and then maybe increase the details, decrease the smoothness or increase it until we are satisfied. So something like this is OK and then press OK. And now we can remove the bright pixels into this layer from the uh, blending modes and let's go to multiply. Let's see. That is not bad at all. The next step, we are going to give it this a color. Do you remember again the gradient map, the today's sponsor? <laughs> so let's go to adjustments, create a gradient map, and let's just create a clipping mask for this. Press Alt and press between the two layers and here as well. And let's go to the gradient map and let's give this a color. So the absolute darks will be something like dark oily color something maybe like this and then the absolute brights let's just choose any desaturated um, yellowish color so something like this i guess and then in the middle we can bring any color something maybe like this it's now good but it's not the best so let's just decrease the intensity of this effect and the next part, we are going to dodge and burn the hand to give it some form and three dimensionality. So I will do this by creating another curves, increase the intensity or the contrast like this and press control I and using the soft rounded brush, I will just paint over these areas. That's very nice. Let's do the, the same thing using the highlights. So let's create a curves, make this very bright and then press control I to invert the mask. And using the same brush, we can simply paint some highlights to increase the form shape of the hand. And using some splashes like this, you can boost this and put it into another level. Here it is. And you, the, the best part with this is that you can always change this color by uh, the hue saturation, creating a hue saturation and change this color into maybe some water effect. So something like this and bringing some water splashes, this will instantly turn it into maybe some water effect or something. The next trick you will use when you have a lot of green plants like this. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this amazing visual, you will find it into my course, into the link in the description. So how can we do it? Let's create a new layer, go to filter, render and tree. Simply it's giving you infinite library of images of the trees and you can use these trees mainly into the undetailed areas. So for example, here into the background, we don't have a lot of details, so we can use some images like this. So for example, let's bring something like this plant, increase the light, uh, change the light direction to whatever we want, increase the leaves amount, maybe the leaves size the branches hit anything all the details and then press ok and now you have a plant you can simply put this into the background creating a mask erasing these areas and then press ctrl u and then make it maybe bright something like this change the color something like this and press ok of course, it's not matching the scene, but the idea of having some infinite library of trees to use into your photo manipulations inside Photoshop, that is amazing. 
that was it guys if you want to learn how to create amazing visuals like this step by step i have good news for you because my premium course is now available and you can find it in the link in the description and you will find also all the stock images used the psd files and all the brushes used let me know guys in the comments do you like these type of episodes or not and see you in the next episodes peace